Thank you. Um, today, I want to talk to you all about how to architect a cross-platform application. The star of the show today is Angular Console. And I don't know if all of you know this, but a lot of really cool people are going around saying Angular Console is bay. Like, it's out of my control, but I, I think we should all do it. But uh, enough about that. I want to talk about me, the star of the show. Um, I really like to go on long walks on the beach, crisp 60 frames per second web animations. But let me tell you right now, I hate celery. OK, so what does it mean to be cross-platform? Uh, at a very, very high level, it means you have a website, and you release it in a lot of places. Um, for Angular Console, which is an app I make at Narwhal, uh, we have an Electron app, which we release on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And we also target uh, code editors as a different platform. And right now, we have one that you can install in VS Code. And the surprising bit about this is it only took 300 lines of code to make the entire Electron app that targets three different operating systems. And so I know what you're all thinking. Um, why is this man with a giant horn on his head lying to me? He's a liar. Stop lying. Get off the stage. But I will say, no, I'm not lying. I'm just merely obfuscating bits of the truth. Uh, Angular console itself is like many, many, many lines of code. But by and large, all the platforms share almost all of the code. Those 300 lines are just the exception. And we're able to do this because we use a monorepo. Uh, we use NX because that's how you do monorepos with Angular CLI. And they're great. I think they rule. So once you have your code co-located, um, let's just take our Electron app and our VS Code app. Uh, Basically, uh, what we need to do is we have our front end, you know, the, the website itself, and we're going to build that. That's step one. Uh, we might configure it a little bit differently per platform. On VS Code, we hide some elements and we change some colors. And so we just swap out the environment file and we build the front ends just a little bit different for each platform. That's step one. Step two is we build the server that will serve the front end app for that platform. So we'll do ng builds VS Code or ng builds Electron. Platform is just a placeholder here. And the very last step, and only takes three steps, is you just glue the two together, and then you ship it. Call it a day. Sounds easy, right? That's because it is. SpongeBob says it is. So let's just take a look at the dependency graph uh, so you guys get a clear idea of what I'm saying. So we have a server lib library. That means it's a shared piece of code. Both the Electron app and the VS Code app imp uh, import it, and they share it. Um, we also have our Angular console front end. And uh, to make an Electron app, let's say, uh, we have a platform-specific builder, in this case, the Electron builder. And it outputs some installable artifacts that you can put on your machine. And we post those in GitHub, and we call it a day. But, uh, how do we do those 300 lines? Um, obviously, they seem kind of important. Um, they literally glue everything together that's not shared. So what does it take to implement those? And the trick here is that we rigidly define what it means to be a platform at uh, the maximum extent that we can. So we want to share as much code as we can, but there's some things that you have to do on a platform by platform basis. One of those things is to make a drop-down menu. Like on Windows, uh, in an Electron app, uh, you have a different API to register a menu than in VS Code. You know, they're just different. But our shared code can just expect that you pass it a platform that describes to an interface. It's like a contract. And so you just call register a menu. And assuming the platform uh, you know, ascribes the contract, bingo, bingo, you got it. You got a menu. And see, it wasn't that hard at all. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And with that, I just want to thank you all for listening, and I'll leave you with this great image. Uh, remember the horn.